Good day for each and everyone. We're here at the Group 4 to present the conducted project in research, which is the developing a farm aid detection robot. The state of how important agricultural in the Philippine economy. Because of its abundance of natural resources, the Philippines places a highly value on agricultural activities, which produce and transform farm goods and services for its people. The viruses and diseases are mainly affecting the plants, most especially the rice, vegetables, and fruits. A disease that usually infects rice or palay is the tungro virus. Rice tungro disease is caused by the combination of two viruses, which are transmitted by leaf hoppers, and it causes leaf discoloration, stunted growth, reduced tiller numbers, and sterile or partially filled grains. And let's now tackle the purpose of the study. The study aims to have an advanced knowledge about the plant's health and how they can be taken care of properly. This research will also help with the problems faced by farmers and the country due to viruses and diseases brought by pests. This problem should be given more attention so that somehow the, head, the headache of the farmers can be elevated and the plants will not be affected. Statement of the problem What are the system or application that is needed to code the robot? How long it will work when it is charged within 24 hours? How can the farm aid will detect the plant disease using the image processing? How long does the farm aid robot detect the plant's health status? Question number one. What are the system or application that is needed to code the robot? For the robot to work, we use the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, or also known as Arduino IAD, which is utilized for the processing of the robot. The application comes with a code editor that features including brace matching, syntax highlighting, and automatic identification. The Arduino version is utilized for interfacing other components in the Arduino board. In addition, capable of quickly compiling and uploading programs to the board. How long it will work when it is charged within 24 hours? On this slide, you can see the researchers used a total average formula to calculate the total average time among all trials, indicating how long the robot will work also when fully charged. The researchers tested the robot in three trials to determine how long it will operate when charged within 24 hours. 15 hours and 2 minutes in the first trial, whereas in second trial, it takes 15 hours and 21 minutes. The third trial takes 15 hours and 30 minutes to complete, and the outcome is fairly close to the estimate. After calculating the total number of the trial and dividing it by the total number of trials carried out by the researchers, the result is displayed using mean calculation. In total average, the time is conducted 15 hours and 12 minutes. In research question 3, testing the accuracy of image processing in the robot. In this table, the researchers use a total percentage formula to determine the accuracy of robot while detecting the diseases. So, which allows us to see the Harlick T, which means the texture. And at your moments, the shape and color histogram is the vision. So, let's move in the table. In leaf 1, shows 72% indicates that the plant is growing normal as is. While in the second test, got 20% explains that the plant has a mild or strong disease. The leaf in our third test is much lower than the second, indicating that the plant is requires a lot of assistance or help. And 9% in the fourth leaf indicates that the plant is in danger among the others. And the last 
36% depicts that a plant is simply not receiving a needed amount of water. So let's move on to the research question four. Research question number four. How long does the farm aid robot detect the plant health status? So, as we, the researchers, we took a several trials. It was discovered that within a 30 seconds, the robot is censoring the parts of the leaf. Well, after one minute, the robot starts to process the image to find the specific disease, researching it and identifying the possible problems in the plant. In two minutes of observing, robot will process to give the result. And within the two and a half minutes, the robot will send a message to, the, to our, our mobile phones via SMS receiver. Let's now proceed to the conclusion of the research. In this modern era, everything is too advanced and modernized. And diseases and viruses have also evolved. There are also plant diseases and viruses that greatly affect plants and farmers. However, the researchers conducted projects called Farm Aid that helps farmers to determine if the plants have a diseases and viruses. The rest of the farm aids are made of robots, machines, etc. Our research team discovered that it is possible to create a plant disease detector that made by Arduino Uno and can be used on any type of plant. This type of investigation, according to other farm aid researchers, is helpful since it can show the pathogens that have landed on the plants. Moreover, applying a quantitative research approach, the researchers established an input regarding farm aid, farm aid robot to be environmentally friendly and used to use. Research would recommend research in the future to increase the battery lifespan. The wiring of the used robot should be organized and the robot should have a cover so that the components are not damaged and are not visible from the outside. More trials and tests on the robot's capacity and efficiency would be recommended by the researchers because the researchers were unable to complete the other test due to time and resource contained. In the future, the robot could be integrated in another machine learning models for autonomous detection on the, on the plant. It can also be equipped by a second camera for navigation. The robot can also be upgraded with new programs and features such as a temperature checker, moisture sensor, and pesticide spraying via sprinkle motor. It it can be it can first be trained to navigate to entire field before being allowed to move independently to take appropriate action.